True Tea, this might be one of my favorite wash days ever. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hi. It is time for another wash day, but before we get into today's wash day, please make sure that you are subscribed and be sure to hit that notification bell so that way you are notified every single time I upload a video. And if you enjoy the video, I'd greatly appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up because it really helps my channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. So I'm going to start off today's wash day by sectioning into our usual four sections and going in with one of my new found favorite pre-poos. But before I go in with that pre-poo, I am dampening each section with this Soltanical Sprout Follicular Rice Tonic just to give myself a little boost of strength. Removing any shed hair and massaging it into my strands and into my scalp. I did pick up this Sprout Follicular Rice Tonic from Soltanicals during Black Friday. If you need to see my Black Friday haul, I'll make sure I leave it linked in the cards. The Sprout Follicular Rice Tonic is said to aid with preventing damage. It also nourishes the hair follicles and improves your hair elasticity. And once I have that worked through the section, I'm going in with a new fave, the Negus Banda Shebe pre poo Treatment. I also picked this up during Black Friday, but because the world is ending, I wound up getting it late and it was in part two of my Black Friday haul. So I'll make sure I leave that linked in the cards as well. I just love how this pre poo treatment applies and how it feels on my hair. It has fantastic moisturizing and nourishing ingredients. And if you would like to pick it up, I would highly recommend it. Be sure to use code TRESSES at checkout if you want to save a couple of coins. So after I apply the pre poo generously to all four sections and twist them up, then I cover my hair with a plastic cap and I let the treatment sit for about 30 minutes before I go in and cleanse. So once I rinse my pre poo and thoroughly saturate my hair, I put my hair back into our usual four sections to prepare for cleansing. To cleanse today, I'm going in with one of my favorite sulfate-free moisturizing shampoos. As you can see, the texture of this shampoo is really light and runny and it just gives me fantastic slip. Now I don't usually require slip for my shampoo, but it is really, really nice to have. Unfortunately, this amazing shampoo is from a brand that I no longer support, so I will not be saying the name of the brand or the product in this video. However, if you are just nosy or you want to actually pick up this shampoo, I will leave it linked in the description box. It sucks that my conscience will no longer allow me to support this brand because this shampoo is just amazing for my hair. So as you can see, the lather on this shampoo is insane. It got all over the place. The slightest bit of this shampoo will do the job. So after I applied the shampoo, worked it through my scalp and down the length of my strands, it is time to rinse. Once I thoroughly rinsed the shampoo from my hair, I decided to go in for a second cleanse because I am craving a scalp tingle. FYI, during my wash days, I do prefer to go in with the double cleanse method. For my second cleanse today, I'm actually going in with a co-wash. This co-wash claims to cleanse, soften, and remove product buildup with a gentle sulfate-free cream. So as you can see, the texture of this co-wash is pretty creamy and rich. Some of the key ingredients for this co-wash include purified water, BTMS, castor oil, sunflower seed oil, ginger oil, sweet orange oil, and peppermint oil. And you all know that I'm a sucker for a tingly scalp, so this one is a fave. And for my second cleanse today, I'm going in with the Oyen Handmade Ginger Mint Co-Wash. One time for the home team, as this is a Baltimore-based Black-owned business. So because the texture of this co-wash is pretty rich and creamy, sometimes the lather just doesn't give what it's supposed to have gave. So I will kind of dip my hair back under the shower just to encourage a better lather.
So once I work the Ginger Mint Co-Wash through all four sections, I then go in and thoroughly massage my scalp just to make sure that I'm getting everything nice and clean and stimulated by that peppermint oil and then proceed to rinse. Once I rinse the Ginger Mint Co-Wash, this is how my hair is looking. Nice and soft, shiny, and super defined. And per usual, I cover my hair with my microfiber towel to let my hair dry down for about 20 to 30 minutes before I apply my deep conditioner. So it's been about 30 minutes of drying time in my microfiber towel, and this is how my hair is looking. So I'm gonna split my hair back into the usual four sections and begin applying today's deep conditioner. Today's deep conditioner claims to be concentrated for silky soft hair and has thirst quenching ingredients custom blended for curls. There seems to be a theme going with today's wash day. You can see that the texture of this deep conditioner is also really rich and creamy, but the second that it touches my damp hair, it glides through the strands so easily, so much so that I didn't really feel that I needed to subsection as much as I usually do during the deep conditioning process. Now I've mentioned multiple times on my channel that I don't necessarily need my deep conditioner to have slip. However, this deep conditioner has impeccable slip and distributed through my strands super easily. Some of the key ingredients included in today's deep conditioner include ionized water, coconut water, coconut oil, cocoa seed butter, nettle leaf extract, as well as hydrolyzed keratin. And to deep condition today, I'm going in with the Camille Rose Coconut Water Penetrating Hair Treatment. I applied this generously through all four sections. I finger detangled and made sure it was coating every single strand before ultimately covering my hair with my thermal cap for about 30 minutes. And after sitting with my thermal cap for about 30 minutes, this is how my hair looks freshly rinsed. All right, so quick recap. So I started today's wash day off with a little bit of a strengthening treatment. I misted each section with this Soltanical Sprout Follicular Rice Tonic. This is actually a scalp and hair treatment to help boost your hair's elasticity and to give you a little boost of strengthening. The directions don't really specify whether this has to be used on clean hair. So I decided to use this to help me with pre pulling today. And I love to use this because it really does hydrate the hair. It helps me remove shed hair. I have gone in with it a few times, usually as a pre poo treatment. Since I've been using this, I have definitely noticed a decrease in the amount of shed hair and I really enjoy it. I'm also ecstatic that I'm getting a rice water experience without having to do it myself and without having to experience the funk. So 10 out of 10 will highly recommend. And once I thoroughly worked the follicular rice tonic throughout my scalp and the length of my hair, I did go in with my new fave, the Negus Banda Cheve pre poo treatment, which... Did you see how it went on? This just has the most creamy whipped consistency. I wish I got this in a larger jar because it just does the job. Super moisturizing and softening to my hair. I get the Ayurvedic benefits without having to mix and make a mess all by myself. And the slip on this makes absolutely no sense. You all know how I ride for pre-pooing here on this channel. It just makes wash day so, so, so much easier. And the answer is yes. So if you are in the market for anything Ayurvedic or you're in the market for a bomb ass pre-poo, I would highly recommend Negus Banda. Be sure to enter the code TRESSES at checkout if you wanna save you a couple dollars. So I rinsed my pre-poo and I went in with my first cleanse. Like I've mentioned previously, the shampoo that I use for today's wash day is from a brand that I no longer support. But if you're interested, go ahead and check the description box. I'll leave it linked down there, but they're not getting any clout or shine on my channel any further, except in the empties. So let's go ahead and move on to my second cleanse. For my second cleanse today, I went in with the Oyen Handmade Ginger Mint Co-Wash. Shout out to Sheree Del Sol for putting me on Another staple, another favorite that I just love to use. The packaging definitely says that this is a light lather, but with a little water and some elbow grease, you can get a good lather from this co-wash. And 
bottom line being i love this gives me a thorough cleanse i'm able to finger detangle my hair and there's also a little bit of hydrolyzed oat protein in the ingredients so not only is it cleansing and conditioning there's also some strengthening properties you all know i'm a sucker for a scalp tingle the ginger and the mint is just chef's kiss even after letting my deep conditioner sit and rinsing i can still feel the tingling sensation of this co-wash i need to stop playing and get the bigger bottle of this this a great time 10 out of 10 will highly recommend and last but not least to deep condition today i went in with something new to me i went in with this camille rose coconut water penetrating hair treatment which queen mother charade del soul was nice enough to send me because i was just being trifling and lazy and would not buy this for myself this is actually a really really good deep conditioner it is super moisturizing it even has slip which you all know that i don't require from a deep conditioner but again super nice to have the only thing that i'm willing to discuss online anyway that is preventing me from making this a staple is the scent it is just a very sweet very artificial coconut scent and I can't handle it. It literally gave me a headache. That's just not a good time for me. Maybe I can add an essential oil or something to this, but the scent is just tame too much. Overall, as far as it made my hair look and feel, fantastic deep conditioner. I'm pretty sensitive to fragrances, but if you don't mind a super heavy artificial coconut scent, I would definitely recommend you pick this up. True Tea, this might be one of my favorite wash days ever. So be sure to drop down in the comments and let me know your thoughts and let me know if you've tried or if you'll be picking up any other products in today's lineup. Also make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please, please be safe and I'll catch you in the next one.